Hey everyone, welcome to Convos in the Attic. Short conversations among friends about the simplest of things, backed up by the deepest of thoughts. But since we are all staying um, at our, our, our own homes, we are um, socially safe from, uh, from the discussions. We are your hosts. I'm Cedric. You have Ash. Say hi, Ash. And hey then guys. we have um, two of our friends joining us. Kits. Hey, Kits. And Kaya. Hi, Kaya. Hi. How are you guys? Hello. How are you guys? Thank you for joining us. Um, let's start Thanks for inviting. With, yeah, um, let's start with um, my boy Ash. Ash, you you, get, you have hey. a nice loft there behind you. It's virtual. Oh, it's virtual. I'm, I'm, you know, yeah, I like my privacy. <laughs> right, so, <laughs> so people don't see where where where, where you actually live or like what your place yeah. actually looks like. You know, we're listening. Eh? Uh, I like that plant on the table, by the way. You know, it's yeah. my babies. It's my babies. Hello, hey guys. Can you Welcome name? Can you tell us like what kind of plant it is? Yeah, that's the snake. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, that's a very interesting plant, Ash. Um, how about you, kids? Um, you have a you have a you have a nice um background behind you as well. Yeah, full of pillows. <laughs> yeah, full of pillows. And you have like these like um, <laughs> bases behind you. How are you? How are you? How are you doing during this time? Uh, but heard you a bit bored at home, but it's mm. okay. Better to be safe. Mm-mm. Have what have you been doing during this um, pandemic? Um, eating, sleeping, <laughs> workout from time nice. to time. Yeah, that's Not cool. Much. That's cool. Yeah, I heard. I heard you have like a a baking thing going, or was that is that um, just supporting some friends? Just supporting some friends. Mm. That's cool. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to the to the podcast or like to the, to the show kids and we have here kaya hi kaya you can see your dress hi, said. your your hat and your <laughs> how are you doing yeah i'm um, i'm doing all right mm. trying to manage every day yep mm. any 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 hobbies that that you you started during this time how have um, you been keeping well up? yeah I've decided to continue my um, long hobby of baking and cooking and turning it into a business, but I wanted to help out people who are battling worse mental conditions than I am. So that's what I'm trying to focus on. I'm trying to expand that Um, very tough during the pandemic, but um, with God's grace, it's it's doing okay. So yeah, so that's what I've been busy with. So to all our viewers or listeners out there, um, please support uh, the various businesses <laughs> that will be talked about um, in today's episode. Anyway, you guys, um, this this is a very interesting show because because we have uh, two two guys and two girls. Um, I'm not well. I'm 100 sure this it's uh, it's a first for for this episode. And um, what I like we want to dive into is sort of. You know, okay, fine. We're we're all um, in a pandemic. We're all stuck in our houses, and I'm pretty sure some of us are are dating, and some of us are just being home buddies out there. So, in in the in the realm of dating, um, how are you guys? Ash, um, you're you have a lovely girlfriend right now. AJ, how are you guys doing? We're doing fine, surviving. You know, mm. uh, yeah, do, do what you can. Uh, yeah. Groceries during the pandemic, uh, you know, cooking, eating, and then getting, you know, just it's 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 a very new way of living. Yeah. Since because of the the, the pandemic, yeah. but yeah, everything's everything's okay. Everything's chill. Okay, so chill. yeah, so you have AJ right there. Okay, so yeah, we'll 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 go back to that later. Let's go to Kaya. Kaya, how about you? Um, are you dating anyone? How are you? How are you right now with your um, relationship status? Um, I'm currently single, but I'm 
I'm not really looking for anyone at the moment. Um, I'm just getting to know more people, um, meeting a few people, but not really dating anyone. And uh, yeah, I think with this pandemic, um, I don't want to say that that's like the focus that I, I want to, you know, concentrate on. I'm just, yeah, there, there's so much going on in the world that I want to concentrate my, my mind on something else. So, yeah. That's a that's a that's a very interesting answer, and it can we can unpack that later as as we progress. Yeah. That we have kits right here. Kits. I'm not gonna use the H word, um, but how how are you? How are you with uh with your guy? Um, we're happily engaged. Um, Congratulations. LDR, thank you. Happily engaged. LDR, but it's fine. We're managing. Uh, we really started off in that setup, so. Mm-hmm. Hard, but we're managing quite well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. So, so um, the the listeners and the viewers know the context of where we're all coming from. Well, ako, I'm I'm single as well. Um, I'm pretty chill. I'm I'm enjoying just being a homebody. Wala ano lang kain tulog trabaho. That's that's the life. That's the life for me right now. Single ka said? Yes. Yes. No. Happily single. Or? I'm 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 fine right now. <laughs> Parang wala ka rin naman magagawa especially during this time like as 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 Kaya mentioned there are a lot of things going on in our world. Okay. It's difficult. It's difficult. So yeah, mm-hmm. that, that's just me. So everyone know everyone knows like the context of where we're all coming from. And the 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 topic that I want to dive into is when it comes to dating, all right? Who who should make the first move? Who should fr- make the first move? <laughs> Ash, you're, you're, you're quite shocked. <laughs> no, I just, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm old fashioned there. So mm, I feel like right. it's always be the guy. I mean, it kind of, it's, it's a great, like, uh, you see a sense of personality whenever like the guy's the get the, the one who, who makes the, the, the first move, you know, it kinda shows how he feels things. Uh but I'm not against like the girls being the one to, to make the first move. That's that's cool too. Mm-hmm. You guys like have that type of connection. But I'm just used to it like being the guys to come forward first. Yeah. Yeah. But that's just me. Yeah. yeah. Traditionally cause uh, um it has always been the 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 guy who does the 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 whole um, engagement with it from asking the 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 the, the girl or the, the the person the number or as simple as making the move yeah as, as always been traditional <laughs> the guy and um, as as you mentioned Ashna um, you're you're very open for 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 today the women the man making the the, the move yeah. how, about, how about you Kaya like um, when when you dated or maybe it has changed right now who should make the first move uh well for me personally i i never allowed like my gender to stop me from well from doing what i wanted That's so nice. for everyone else out there men or women go for it it doesn't really matter to me cuz um if you like the person why not just go for it just tell the person or um just own up to it and um, I, I admittedly made the first move with my ex-boyfriend, actually. And yeah. I never regretted that. I never, yeah. yeah, it was actually something I think that he was, he was kind of proud of to talk about with his other friends and with people. But uh, whenever that topic is brought up, I never really regretted um, making the first move with him. Because um, I, I know what I want. And I just, I go for that. And, but I, if we're going to talk about, um, gender equality here. There's a little bit of implications there, though. Um, when a woman does that, they kind of tend to come off as um, either a bit too aggressive or um, slutty, whatever label, you know, is, is out there. Um, there's there's a consequence of that, but that didn't really stop me. For me, I just, um, if I like someone, I don't I don't like to keep it in. Like I I have to talk about it with that person and um, yeah, you just take the risk. After all, love relationships in general, it's, it's a risk. So yeah. Those are very, very interesting points. Like um, 
like it it takes so much for for uh, a woman to like you know go out there hey <laughs> diba? Parang, and, and go for it yeah it's yeah different, it's a different experience altogether right. yeah how about you how about you kids um tell us tell us about about your your current relationship like how did it all start and who made the defining move um okay so my fiance and i we met at work uh we're not colleagues though but well i was working i met him there okay can you click now ngayon pa lang yeah we started talking and getting to know each other and we just naturally click all the conversations they flowed and it's like you're talking to your friend so he asked for my number so we can keep it going but i was hesitant because i just met him and I don't know, I'm iffy with those things. So I asked him, like, can I just have your number and then I'll just text you. So at least I have the control if I want to text him or not. Okay. And then um, we were in France. So my colleagues ditched me and I really want to go out because we're in France. So I texted him, na, um, so do you want to meet me here at the restaurant in my hotel? Because it's really good. And then he came over and then we just had pizza and then we were... We started talking lang, and it's very casual. Ganon. Actually, now that I think about it, very risky pala kasi I invited him to a hotel, but not really in my room. But <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> There's a just Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sorry, okay. uh, that's funny. And then, like, how, how did it go? And then from there, uh, from the moment now we started texting, we never stopped na, until now. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, so actually, now that I think about it, I really don't know who made the first move talaga because he asked for my number, but I'm the one who actually texted him to tell him, like, come here. <laughs> so. you, you brought up an, an interesting um, point right there when you said that, that um, your fiancé um, gave you his number. And then, if I can remember what you, what you said correctly, you gained that power to... To be in control of whatever yeah. would come next, Ash. Um, in 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 that in that whole context, um, of it's four o'clock. It's four o'clock. Oh yeah, we, we know we know Zoom. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We know Zoom. Um, with the whole context of that power. So, That's so, great. Man. So That's like experience. a modern day is, love is that, story. Is that the is that the uh the move, guy kids? If you, if you think, think about yeah, it. Yeah, I think the guy did it first. I mean, he, he gave her options to like like reach out. So he still did the first move, in my opinion. Like, you mm-hmm. know, uh, he wasn't too aggressive. He wasn't forceful. He was nice about it. You you could have rejected. You could have just walked away. But, uh, you know, you got bored. You wanted to go out. It worked out well. You guys mm-hmm. are... <laughs> You guys are oh my. <laughs> so, so more yeah. viewers, not then. Like that's the game plan, I guess. Yeah, whether you're a guy or a girl, um, get your number to get everyone. the number and then give options where where you guys want to meet. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> the, that's a that's a that's a very powerful um, thing you said. Gets na the whole setup change once the options are provided. How long personally? Um, I guess when it comes to the first move, I actually I'm actually impressed by by women who are able to say and you know just walk up to to a guy or whoever and say hey um, you're interesting what up or like I wanna I wanna have lunch or something <laughs> like what do you guys what, what do you guys think about that because I guess the <laughs> The fear of um, a lot of a lot of guys, siguro as Kaya mentioned, parang may mga stereotypes kasi na, na that it comes when someone is a little bit too, um, you know, forward forward with that. So, yeah. what is is there a right way of making the first move, whether you're a girl or a guy? Like, what is what is the right move for you, Kaya? Uh, for me, like I said, I, I don't think there is a quote unquote a, a right move because you just you just go for it. Um, yeah, you really just go for it. But I, but it's a it's a personal thing though. I think every person has their own preference on whether or not they want the guy to to go for it. But 
my take on that is if you're just going to wait and wait for the guy to, to realize something or, or for him to ask you out or to make the first move and the fear of following a tradition or a norm, a gender norm set by society that you're not going to get anywhere, uh -huh. but that, that's just my personal take. So it's like, you're just you're just waiting and then what if this guy never makes the move on you then you're gonna feel disappointed you're gonna feel a bit you know run down about yourself and you're kind of gonna blame yourself too but at the same time you you could have gone for it you had that option too so that's my advice towards my women uh -huh. listeners out there um yeah just just go for it whether you're a man or a woman if you like the person Go up to them, ask them, slide into their DMs, since that's like the modern yeah, yeah, thing yeah. to do now. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Anyone? Yeah. Wala, <laughs> ang, ang, ang DMs lang sa yeah. akin, pare, 8080 Globe. Eh. Your, your, text, your text subscription has, ano, eh, has ended. Eh. But anyway, um, um, that's, those are very interesting points, Kaya. Going back to you, kids, um, with, with, with your experience, um, Hindi ka naman hindi ka naman na freak out when when the guy was like here's here's my number. Hindi naman like hindi naman kasi cool. for me like he and I had a connection and I don't want to presume that it's going to like dating or something like it could be just wanting to be friends. So I want to keep an open mind. Okay, mm -hmm. he wants to get to know me more, but at the same time I don't I don't want to flat out say no because I'm uncomfortable with it. So parang, I want to give him the options and to make him not feel bad about taking the first move. Na, okay, so I'll just take your number para he doesn't feel rejected. At the same time, I feel comfortable then. So win, win, shine away. And it worked out um, in the end. Because when I texted him, actually, he, he felt happy na parang, so actually, you do want to see me. You do want yeah. to get to know me. You, you <laughs> So like yeah, <laughs> yeah it works. As as we can see, Kits is a uh, is very blushed by that uh, personal <laughs> experience. Anyway, go going back to you, Ash. Um, from from your experience, um, before AJ or maybe with with your current T A J, has has anyone has any girl like, you know. Yeah, bro. You. I get DMs. No, no. I don't even know, bro. I don't. I don't know what's going on. You should. You should like help us out. Like, what's what's new in the modern day of dating? What's Bumble? What's Grinder? What's all these Tinder? Well, I'm a little um, old-fashioned. It's either um, I know the person from within the. Circle of friends. Mm. Um, medyo, medyo risky kasi ang, ang stranger. Like, kaya naman kapalan yung muka. Like, me personally, mm -hmm. I can do that naman. But, iba pa rin if you, if the person is within your circle or at least a friend of a friend of a friend's mom. I don't know. Like, mm. <laughs> that, that's, 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 that's cool. But I'm pretty sure nowadays a lot of, a lot of people are are very open to it. I mean, there, like what you mentioned, there are a lot of dating apps right now, and it really empowers both genders to to make that move. Um, we right now we have Bumble, where the 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 girl or the woman makes the first move. Oh and, really? Yeah. No. Like, tell about like they they are the ones who um, mm -hmm. engage with the the conversation of someone they swipe with. And in the industry of, of dating apps and whatnot, that's a that was a big game changer when it when it arrived. Like a lot of a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, um like from from no, from a guy's perspective, uh, like, oh my gosh, um in the yung nabu move. Like there's there's actually a girl who says hi first. And that was a big shocker. But it somewhat changed the gender roles that uh, that has been stuck that had been stuck with um, with the whole dating thing. Does it lessen like the impact of it though? Like when, because like people now just DM whoever, whatever. Like it's it becomes like less of a big deal when someone talks to you. When like it used to be like very nerve wracking and like very it's a big thing for you to just like say hello. But now you could just like type it or like you know. 
just it's it's like nothing. Pabili nga po ng cookies niyo. Right? You know, like it's so easy. Now. Does it lessen the effect? Let's let's ask let's let's bring bring the questions uh, to our to our friends here. How about you, Kaya? Like, what do you think about that? I personally um, agree with you. Said I I've never tried dating apps. I it's not me. I even if friends encourage it, it's just it's not me. But so I don't know how to personally relate to um, to that experience. Saying like, oh, that that gives me the power. Because like I said, even personally. Um, I would just go up, need him and go up to the guy like randomly, but I I wouldn't mind like just talking to the guy on my own and just telling him, hey, um, I think you're cute and we've got a connection. Let's go out. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. And if I think if I can do that um, on a person to person interaction, then I can probably do that online as well. It's just for other women who can't do it in a personal interaction mm. perhaps that does give them a bit of a, a bit of a power na they get to control who they get to talk to who they want to say hi to um you know the the downfall is like what if what if one of the guys there actually wanted to say hi to them but he didn't type na woman or something and sayang that could have been like her husband already but yeah. uh, i don't know I, i i don't really know how to how to say it because I just I've never tried dating apps before, and especially Bumble, so I wouldn't know how to relate to that situation of saying hi to them first. But it could give them a bit of a like Ash mentioned. It might give them even more encouragement to say hi first because they're kind of behind a screen. So it's like, well, not really going to lose anything. They don't they don't know me. I don't see them in person. Probably not going to meet them until like six months later after this pandemic is done. So um, I don't mind. But I'm going to. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot less to lose, I suppose, when it's right. in an app or when you're talking to that person through a screen. Yeah. Damn. How is it to be single during the pandemic, said, like, you know? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Yeah, I want to I know. I want to see like cuz like <laughs> <laughs> um how is that for you guys? You and Kaya. Like, it's it's really it's for well for me it's really um walang 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 moves moves kahit kanina. It's really making a move on on my passion projects. That's yeah. what I've been doing. Like I've been I've been making my first moves with um well, right now my music. I've been dabbling dabbling into that um as Well, I don't know. Like, feeling ko kasi if you make any moves right now during the pandemic, imagine may gito mo pa yung yung taong yan. Maybe next year pa, like real talk. Or if ko hindi man next year, probably like you you won't have that um, natural connection compared to when there is no virus or whatever. So parang okay, like hindi ko masaya priority. So might as well just binge watch. The office, or eat junk food, drown, and then drown your loneliness. <laughs> make music. That passion that, projects. That's just, yeah, that's the, those. Those are the things that I've been keeping busy with. Those are my moves right now. How about you, Kaya? How is it being single during? The um, <laughs> being single na, during this pandemic. Yeah, I know. It's like everyone, but that's the thing, though. Um. A lot of people think that just because you're single, you're lonely. Like Ash, you mentioned drown your loneliness, but I can't speak on Cedric's behalf. I can't speak on his behalf, but for me, I'm I don't feel lonely. So there are times where I I feel like there there were more people who were like you know sending me like small treats or asking me how I'm doing mentally, how are you battling with anxieties, with your depression, um, those things. But then I realized there's just There are other people too. There's more to life than romance, and uh, like I mentioned a while ago, there are other things to think about during this pandemic, rather than just dating. Just because you see all these damn couples like being sweet to each other, <laughs> it, no it, you guys. It, it, it hurts. Whoa, there's whoa, a little whoa. bit of of sting. No, no, I'm just kidding. Um, there's a little bit of sting, but uh. but I don't know. You you there's just there's so so many other things to think about as well and do and appreciate and be grateful for. 
So it's not it's not all about romance all the time. But during this pandemic, it, it does hurt. I say you're at home. So yeah. Mm. But um, I just want to add, actually, I like that said pinpointed um, making a move during this time is kind of an apprehensive thing because you don't know the person's intention. But what if they're just bored? And then mm. they make a first move on you. They slide into your DMs. They're just bored. Um, how do you really see or know the intention of a person when we're all in this pandemic together? So everyone's just trying to talk to everyone. So yeah. So I, I would be a bit hesitant to like go out or date someone during this time because I wouldn't know what their real intentions are. Yeah. Para ang dami nakakasakit yeah. tapos for for a single person yun yung magiging priority mo it's 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 uh, a yeah. questionable you know <laughs> I don't know yeah. that's that's just that's yeah. just that. how about you kids um yeah. so right now you are um you're in Manila and um your 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 fiance is is abroad how is how's it going like is are you are you doing good are you doing fine how how are you guys uh, yeah, we're we're actually good. We're getting closer, guy. If that's you know possible. Um, wow, yeah. Because we have to make the extra effort to um, really see each other because of the time difference, and also he's working and I'm not, so I'm more free. And mas ako yung on the waiting end, like, hey, so are you free? Let's let's mm. out. Let's, let's do something. Um, but yeah, thank God for technology. So nakaka cut yung distance somehow. Uh, we just try to keep it interesting, you know. You you find points of discussion each time you call each other. Now you don't just talk about small stuff like, "Hey, how are you? What was your day?" And then, finally, mundane. So you keep it interesting by adding topics like um, some nights he wants like more cheesy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> like um, <laughs> dreams more like mm. what makes you feel like? Because I'm trying to teach him about. Ano, kilig, ganyan, Filipino words that you can't really translate into English. So, he's asking me, what makes you kilig? Kilig, kilig kami dito eh. He's asking me, like, what did it do, ganyan. So, sometimes I would tell him, tapos yung surprise na ako, the next day, he would send me something mm-hmm. uh, online. He would buy it, and then suddenly my delivery sa house. Um, oh, actually, he got me macarons or something. Ganon. Or sometimes, su- super stupid questions like, um, if you were a piece of furniture, what would you be? Parang ganon. Ang labo. What what would be the answer to that? Well, what would be your answer? I'm a mug. I'm a oh, mug. Gosh. What kind of furniture? I'll be the lamp. Ako gusto ko. I'm I'm the bed because I want you to feel comfortable around me. I want you to feel. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I'm here to support you. <laughs> A piece of furniture. Use me. Oh, wait, you got to go for the food in a week. Work. Why are you so like a cheesy one? Why are you so cheesy one? Conversations. <laughs> hey, baby, what furniture would you want to be? Very interesting that you had a question. Anyway, so, I know, that, was, that was nice that you guys keep it. Um, You guys level it up every single time. And... Um, I think I also mentioned this, and kids, you you are experiencing it right now. Um, thank God for technology to make thing to make dating in general easier for us. Like imagine, imagine sending like mail, like little paper mail during this. Oh, nice. next year, pa makarating yung mail. Oh, I did that. Kamusta? I did that before. No LDR. Oh, yeah, it took a while. Diba? Oh, mahal. Magkano, bro? If I may ask. I sent more stuff, eh, so it wasn't just like a letter. Oh. Uh-huh. Parang like chocolates, teddy bear, blah blah blah. How much am I? Twelve. Well, thank God, Telegram is free on uh on iOS and Google Google Play, diba? Like yeah, it, it it really changed the whole landscape. Even parang like you holding something, you know, that's that is actually held yeah. by the other person. Plus. Oh, sorry. Can I just say, Ash, I'm just going to jump in. But Ash, that's, for me, that's such a sweet gesture. If a man did that for me, spent that much money, although he doesn't have to, I'm not saying it's about like monetary value or anything, but if a man made that gesture and 
um, is really motivated, committed to showing me how much um, he, you know, how he wants to pursue me with conviction. I would appreciate that a lot. Grab mm -hmm. it. Like that didn't stop you. You know what I mean? Like no excuses. You don't make excuses. I think that's very admirable. Yeah. <laughs> I love this. I love yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I just, I just want to commend you on that. Yes, talaga yung ano namin eh. Lover <laughs> boy ng, ng, ng group namin eh. Kaya, kaya siya yung, uh, mm -hmm. kaya siya yung part ng discussion na to. Kasi mga viewers natin, whether you, you're a guy or a, you're a woman, Ash is the, the MVP of, of oh. these kinds of things. Grabe naman. I'll take it, bro. I'll take it. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, so very interesting points. Like, just some as as we sum up everything about um, a dating in general. Um, if, if if let's let's open the floor for like um final final thoughts about um who, who makes the first move. Um, dating during the, this this time, and what is the future of of dating? It's hard for people in a relationship to think about the future of dating. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not. Uh, I'm not. Well, you, don't, really you, don't, you don't. You don't. Mind. You don't have to answer that. But um, yeah. but yeah, like maybe Ash, like um, just just to like um, sum up what what you have mentioned. Um, are you for? Um, you can make the first move. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. I, I still, I, I think it's 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 about time. Like you know, uh, go, like what Kaya said, go for what you want. Just do it. You know, shoot your shot. Uh, better to know now than like wait and not find out ever. You know. So, not waste time. Just go for it. Jump. Mm -hmm. Don't be don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Just say hi. You know. Don't be shy. Just say <laughs> hi. That, I think that's yes. The, don't that's, be shy. Just say hi. I think that's the quotable line for for this episode. How about you, Kaya? Like and like any like any final thoughts on on this? Um, I do have final thoughts. I just want to add that even if I I mentioned um I don't. You know, I, I'm all for women to go for the first move as well. They're, you're not going to lose anything if you do that. Um, don't think about what other people will think about you. Um, I just want to say that I do acknowledge that there are certain emotional thresholds between men and women and um, taking the next steps when you're in the relationship. I think it's even more convincing when a man is the one who initiates it. Correct. So, for example, talking about getting married. I think when the man is the one who initiates that conversation, it's it's a completely different thing than if a woman were to initiate it when you're in the relationship already. So I, I know that might sound a bit confusing because I said I'm all for women talking about it, going for it, but um, there is a certain kind of character and when a man is the one who really um, shows a commitment and talks about, initiates these "Quote unquote difficult um, conversations in their relationship." So yeah, yeah, that's that's hella interesting. I know we just thought we just dabbled into um, the first move, but as you mentioned, my first, my second, my third, and my forever. And yes, 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 and, yes. Um, yeah. It's <laughs> like okay, fine. The first matters, <laughs> but the next couple of uh, moves will also matter because yeah. that will be the next stage of your life if, if it does has come true so kaya um very interesting um final thoughts from from your end how about you kids um any any anything you want to want to share with, with our viewers or listeners um as we close the the show actually i really agree with what kaya said um the first move it doesn't really matter if you really want to go for it go for it but the follow-through is also super important like speaks up about um, the character of the guy if like he really really wants you or he's just like okay you're you're willing naman so I'll I'll I'll, I'll buy it ganon. so sometimes it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's really nice then if yeah, yeah. the guy shows then like okay I don't mind making the first move but you have to keep showing me that you also want it like you you're willing to yeah. make this effort and stuff like that and you can try because look what I <laughs> Look, I tried. I texted. I made the first move. Technically, joke, and I'm engaged. Joke. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's, <It works>. nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. Yeah, um, very interesting um, thoughts right there um, as we as we um, end this episode. Um, who should who should make the first move? Anyone can make the first move, whether you're um, you're a guy or girl or whatever your gender is. It's all good. You can Ash, can you please repeat what you just. Do you want? Uh, what, what did can I say? Please, can you please repeat your um, Kodobo line? What was it? Don't be shy. Just say hi. There you go. Yes. That is, up, the, that is that is the first move. But um, as as we as we just um, realized at the end, it's not about the first move. It's about the succeeding steps that comes with that first move. And whether you're a guy or a girl, what in the good move? Because um, you got into that. You come back to move. You yeah. you like bite kaja. That's good. Anyway, thank you guys. Um, thank you Kaya. Thank you, um, kids. Um, thank you as well, Ash, for 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 blessing us with your with your presence here, and um, we really enjoyed having you guys here. And we hope that you guys are open to more random conversations. May it be little long or major deep na far side of the spectrum. We're we're very open to you guys. Anyway, so our viewers, our listeners, thank you very much for for um, take me your time for convos. And that's it from from me, said Ash, Kits, and Kaya. Thank you, everyone. Peace. Hi. Thank you.